Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. I have finally brought a Jordan 2 to the channel to review. And I don't know how I feel about it, man. I've never been um, attracted to Jordan 2s. I never really wanted them. I always just thought of them more of like a bowling looking shoe or like a weird uh, old guy shoe. You know, nobody's wearing 2s, right? Nobody was wearing 2s, especially before all of these collabs. But now we have an Amma Manier collab. We have a Union collab and we've had some off-white uh, collabs on the Jordan 2 and now a lot more people are having twos in their collection which is so crazy to me for years and years and years the twos have been known just to have some of the worst colorways known to Matt and it's it's honestly sad and you know I personally feel like they did a great job on the Jordan 1 making a classic silhouette a timeless shoe whether or not they had any hype before or not I've always appreciated the Jordan 1 the Jordan 2 on the other hand never really a fan of to, to keep it a buck never a fan of of the shape the the back tabs the the toe box anything it just never did it for me right the jordan 2 lows i think are a little bit better than the highs but again i never really a fan of of the twos and then the threes they knocked it out the park again the fours the five sixes sevens all killer silhouettes all lovely but the two man it's just it's tough it's tough you know from the toe box shape to just the way the shoe comes together i don't know man i don't know let me know in the comment section below what do you think of jordan twos do you think that um people are just ho hopping on like the hype bandwagon do you think that they're just trash do you think whatever i bet they're comfortable i bet they're really comfortable from what i've heard just feeling the soul and feeling just the material and stuff i bet they're comfortable i'm just i'm not down to give them a try i'm gonna keep it a buck man but so uh, the details of the shoe are pretty cool. We got we got some crack leather here. And, you know, it's all right. In my opinion, the crack leather, I don't know how crack leather ages over time, to be honest. I don't know if it gets worse or it kind of stays the same for a little while. But again, you have that crack leather all over. I almost would have rather seen suede or maybe like a tumbled leather or something. Just this crack leather is just kind of like not my thing it's got a weird like matte crack look but it's got a little bit of a, a shine or a glimmer to it um it's it's pretty interesting it's pretty weird to me you know and then just seeing we got crack leather on the shoe we got snakeskin wrapping around the sole we got this semi-transparent material where you know to the eye you can kind of see the crack leather underneath and this wraps around the shoe and then you have like this brownish burgundy purplish heel tab and it's just so it's just a clash of materials just all kind of stacked together and that's what kind of throws me off and then of course we have the quilted material inside the shoe which to me didn't feel as good as it felt on the jordan 3 on or even the ones like this feels like a more tough more plasticky quilted feeling just not it's not as soft or as smooth or as like luxurious as i remember the other ones being so you know i i got this for retail and i'm blessing somebody with it who didn't hit but i'm gonna give it to them for retail because i know that they like twos and i know that they're trying to collect their you know all three and they've already got the other ones so um this is dope on the lace tips of all the shoes we have work harder on the laces which is pretty cool you got that little detail there the the lettering Kind of hard to get a shot here but it says work and the other one says harder pretty tough to capture there but it says work harder and i think it says that on all of the laces here um yeah you can kind of catch that within the uh the laces here you got work harder on there you have cream laces and then you have that brownish purplish burgundy that matches the the heel tab of the shoe and you have the uh the black laces which is which is cool other than that there's another nothing really special going on inside the shoe um of course on the tongue here you have which in, in my opinion is probably the the most fun uh detail of the shoe but we have that wings logo right there embossed or stamped into the leather on the tongue which i think is really cool that's a cool little fun detail to me um some people think that it's kind of corner looking and stuff and i just think that um it's original it's fun it's cool it's on the tongue it's puffy and stuff like it it's cool it's cool i i like that detail um on the other shoe we have a hang tag an amamanier hang tag might be a little tough to get this on camera here because the plastic is so reflective but it says amamanier and it has a wings logo here 
same on the back i'll probably throw up some b-roll or something throughout or at the end of the video so you guys can get some cool little close-ups on the shoe um i don't believe in wearing hang tags on your shoes i mean i even don't really wear the off-white hang tags or anything like that but you know it's there it's cool probably put it on your keychain or something maybe or put it i don't know just keep it in the box just keep it in the box bro but my favorite detail of the shoe guys my favorite detail of the shoe is the box in itself actually a really really dope box it comes with the ama manier like plastic covering that has all of the a's on it which is cool i'm here in atlanta right now so it's dope to see ama manier um getting the chance to have these collabs and coming up with these cool little designs and you know they have this cover that they have on the ones and the threes and now also the twos and it kind of locks in on the box on the edge and it's got all of those ama manier a's on it and it's really dope as far as like boxes go i love when a box is collectible or you know presentable and just not the same as all of the other boxes i think it's really cool so again you have this cover just like the travis fragment uh, box behind me where it has you know that cover it's it's really cool in my opinion it's one of the cooler details of the pair but here we go we have the box and i think this box is really dope we have the ama manier and then we have the air jordan like wings logo wrapping around the entire box and when the box opens obviously it's just the wings right there that come up which is super super cool in my opinion and inside here we have michael jordan wearing some jordan twos surprise michael jordan in twos in a jordan two box which it's you know it's whatever and of course we have the ama manier logoed paper and some white paper it's really cool i like the box the box is really presentable it would look great up there in the collection if i weren't blessing somebody with it for retail so um i love the box and then you know other details on the shoe really you know on the back the heel tab you got uh the manier the back of the shoe seems to like slim it up the way it's shaped and everything and it's also just like how tightly factory lace this is i would never wear a shoe this factory lace this tight like i would loosen it up and try to widen out the shoe to try to wear it uh, but you know the back of the shoe seems like it's designed to try to slim it up some and make it you know a little more wrapped around your foot or whatever but i would love to see this widened out and um you know like a puffier collar and you know i i haven't seen too many people wearing these so i'm not really sure how they're styling them to keep it a buck i just kind of stay away from twos but the sole and everything like it does feel like you know it's got like a good you know cushion to it like there's actually a little bit of give right there almost like not exactly like a yeezy boost because the yeezy boost has like so much more play to it but it's got it's got some sponginess which is cool and the rest of it is hard and solid feeling i bet this is a really comfortable shoe but you know it's just not it's not a three a four or five six or seven it's definitely not a one so i you know i'm just not i'm not vibing with it you know but i want to know what you guys think let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think about that i mean look at that toe box bro come on bro ain't no way right ain't no way but hey some people like it you know and of course we got like the, the accent colorways coming up on the shoot man get that tag out of there we got the accent colorways coming up which is kind of interesting but again it's just the the silhouette is just kind of eh for me but again the snake skin like come on bro snake skin crack leather all these plastics the semi-transparent plastic it's just too much bro it's just a uh, a little bit too much for me but again let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this pair what do you think about twos in general do you think the two lows are better than the highs i think so but yeah i'm really interested to see your guys's opinion and uh I'm wanting to know like did you guys just cop these for resale did you only try for them for resale or are you gen genuinely into twos you know i i don't know i maybe you guys will surprise me and say that more of you guys are into twos than i thought but i doubt it something tells me i doubt it but they're cool man they're cool but uh let's throw up some b-roll let's throw up some close-up shots of the shoes so you can guys get some cool looks at them and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace